Hi, I'm Max Brooks. I'm here at iGen. I'm going to uh, teach these gentlemen how to zombie-proof their office. Let's go inside and see how dead they're going to be. Okay, right away we have an issue. This is all glass. We don't know what kind of glass this is. Even if the glass is bulletproof, uh, how secure is it in the frame? Because if you get a crowd, zombie or not, just pushing on this, is it going to push it right out of the frame? Now, when the power goes out, are these doors going to be locked? How you doing? Oh, Hi, I'm Max. Thank you, Ken. Hi, Ken. Ken, when the what kind of glass are these these windows? These are bomb proof. They're bomb proof. Glass, yes, with the film over them. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. So, so, how secure are they in the frames? Uh, in the frames, they are very secure. I think there's two or three inches into the frames they go all within the, the frame. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, yeah. so it would take a full crowd to push that thing out of there. Oh, it certainly would. Oh, yeah. excellent. All yeah, right. It certainly would. So we got that. Now, when if the power, if and when the power goes out, uh, how do the door? Can the doors be opened? Uh, yes, the doors automatically come unlocked, so there's easy ah, access. Ah, now you see. Now that's important because when the power goes out, these doors are just going to fly open, and that's an issue. Can they be closed again? Yes, they can. Oh, okay. All right. So basically, the good news is. Even if the power goes out in the building, these windows give you enough time to be able to manually shut all the doors. Now the nice thing about this area here, which is great, is that it's tight. It's what we call a choke point, which means there's just so many bodies you can get in this very narrow area. And the great thing is, now look at the way this hallway is constructed. It's in an L shape, so that way, zombies who come in this way there's just so many you can get in this narrow space to be able to push on this door. Plus, this door opens this way, which means zombies aren't smart enough to know how to do this. They're gonna wanna push. So basically, you're going to have five zombies pushing on this. And if you can only get four or five here, it's going to last for God knows how long. It's gonna depend on the strength of the door before it eventually splinters. So we're going up here once again, narrow stairs, good choke point. The, the disadvantage, this is important, if you can see down here, these stairs, they look to be made out of concrete, which means it's gonna be a lot harder to take out these staircases. You're gonna need some very strong men with sledgehammers, and come on, they're, they're, these are video game people. So this ain't gonna happen, okay? So that's, that is one major flaw. Once again, which is good, the door opens out, zombies are gonna be pushing in. But once again, look, the L shape. See, zombies come in this way, but in order to get through the door, they gotta push here. So how many zombies can you get behind you? Even if they're coming out this way, it's at an angle. And an angle is going to be able to deflect a lot more of the physical force than a straight push. Who's over here? All right, now this is great. 20th Century Fox, now this is perfect. See, what these people present is a distraction, okay? Which means that you're going to have a bunch of film executives in here, okay? Wondering how they can, I don't know, take a book and turn it into a movie and ignore the book. Uh, so while they're busy doing that, okay, zombies are gonna come in and they're not gonna worry about zombie proofing. They have more important things to do. So the time it will take for the zombies to eat their way through the 20th Century Fox executives will give these people even more time to prepare. Now this is not a good thing because this door opens in, which means that it's not going to take a lot. See, you can have zombies backed up all the way there. You can have this entire room essentially channeling its pushing force against a door that even opens. So that way, you are gonna to have to not just block the door, you're gonna to have to block this entire hallway. You're gonna to have to take every stick of furniture, everything you need. You're gonna to have to take your employees who are overweight and just put them all against this door. Uh, and that's gonna be really important. Okay, one key advantage, which cannot be underestimated, is that this is on the second floor. <clears throat> See, now as long as you can secure those stairways, if for some reason you destroy the staircase, all your problems are solved. Zombies are not good climbers, and they only run in the movies. Basically, for you guys up here, it's all gonna be uh, just wine and roses, and for down there, it's gonna be one big Smith song. What's most important about zombie proofing is the human capital, is the, the level of skills, the level of 
courage, strength, determination of the human factor. So, hey, did anybody here grow up in Brixton in the 80s? No? They're all dead.